don't even compress these bad boys. Oh yeah. ram back so we're going to do some uh, weighing in today we're going to weigh this thing and see where we're sitting at so we can uh we're looking to add a bull bar so let's see where our weights are today also going to be doing some fuel consumption um as well so can let you guys know under the specs of how heavy this thing is, um, how much fuel is it actually using? Um, we're gonna talk about that as well today. So with the um, weighing system that I have, I need to be on a really flat surface. So I was planning on doing a, a big day with this truck and going up the beach and stuff like that, but the weather is horrendous. There is no beach anymore. It is, um, <laughs> it's gone from the swell that we had this week on the east coast so that won't be happening um so yeah i'm just going to weigh it here in the shed on the farm and uh see where we come in at and yeah done some fuel had some fuel readings this week on this thing as well so we'll talk about that So Ram 2500, the tear weight on the Ram 2500 stock out of the showroom on the coil rear setup because there is so many changes with these Rams versus coil springs, uh, the 3500 and stuff like that. So the 2500 with the rear coils, um, 2019 this is. Uh, 3577 is its tear weight and its GVM is four and a half ton. You can get a, obviously you can get a, a suspension um, upgrade and do a GVM upgrade if you wish. Um, I didn't really want to do that with this truck. Um, so we're going to go over what we've done to it, the changes that we've made and see where we're sitting at for the weight on the 2500. We've got the 35 by 12 and a half R18s. So we've got the bronze methods, KM3s. There is the shock upgrade that we've done to this truck, standard coils in this truck. So coming around, um, obviously no bull bar, nothing like that. Um, we have no roof rack on the top. Uh, mitts, alloy tray and canopy, uh, same wheels on the back. And we have done the Fox upgrade to the shocks in the rear there. So they're the piggybacks. backs. Um, running mitts, roof rack. Um, obviously we have the internal fit out, which you've seen in the past videos. Two methods ladder um, obviously we've taken the spare out so we're saving weight there by not having the spare under the truck um, coming around awning bush company 180 um, xt max awning and that's pretty much it oh, and we have the compressor um, the arb compressor system which is housed under the uh the rear seat of the ram Okay, so I've been trying to buy one of these um, for close to six months, if not longer. Um, it's a caravan weight control system, so these are made in Europe. So when I was in Switzerland, I managed to order one and get my hands on one. So this is the 1500 kilo one. They also come in a yellow version, which is a thousand kilo. So went for the 1500 just because I'm doing a lot of American trucks and stuff. So definitely need that extra extra 500 kilos per wheel to weigh these trucks. Um, and this is great because you can weigh trailers with this, you can weigh the vehicle with this, you can weigh your tow ball download weight, all those sorts of things. So it's pretty much just got your screen just here. So we'll turn it on. So right now it's doing uh, the uh, vehicle. So you've got each, each wheel you can scroll through and do all your, all your wheels. So you pretty much select which one you want. Um, sit it underneath the wheel, drive over it, then you'll move to the next one, drive over it, you'll move to the next one, drive over it, and so forth. And then you'll come to a total, it'll tell you your total here. 
so we can move across to our trailer down down ball load so as you can see just there so we can weigh the uh what the trailer's download is on the vehicle then we can also weigh a, a four axle trailer a single axle trailer and the vehicle as well so a wide range of things you can weigh and then you can total it all and it can tell you your uh, your total just there so pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna weigh the rim. I'm gonna do each corner of the vehicle and then I'll come back to you with a total. So there. Just wanna make sure your wheel's not gonna roll over the display or you won't have a display anymore. So sort of about there. Covering the width of the tyre fine. So we'll drive over it now. It's pretty damn accurate to be honest. Okay, so we've done all four wheels. So we have the front uh, passenger side. We have the rear passenger side, which is 910. The front, which is 1120. And the back, which is 1035. So then we hit the total button. That gives us 1970 on the passenger side. I think we hit total again. And if I can scroll through and find out where it says total for that side. 2155 for the driver's side. So we add them together and we have a total of 4125. So I'm pretty damn happy with that. Um, that's given us the, the GVM of this truck max is four and a half ton. So that gives us, um, I think the tow ball for the caravan is 160 kilos of download. So that still gives us room for food, two people, and um, the truck does have a full tank of fuel. I just checked that. So yeah, and it's also full of water. So I'm pretty happy with that. So with a total of 4125, uh, remember that's including me in the truck as well so we'll add the other passenger that's going to be in the truck um, so we'll just say uh, 40 40 kilograms so 4125 plus 40 so they're at 165 170 give or take the truck is dirty there's a lot of mud caked under it so we're probably more around the one 415 sort of mark so I'm pretty stoked with that Full of fuel, full of water, full of def, uh, diesel exhaust fluid uh, for the AdBlue system. So there, all those tanks are topped off. Um, the only thing we don't have is the under tray water tank. So now if we, it depends on what configuration you're gonna be using this vehicle in, whether you're gonna be going, um, towing the caravan, which is most likely what the truck's gonna be doing. So we will then add the 160 of tow ball download. So it leaves us 1325. So, we're very, very close to the four and a half, um, but I think they can do it. I think it's quite manageable for this vehicle to be perfectly legal on a car license. Um, so you could throw another uh, 20 kilos in there for food and things, another 20 kilos in there for clothing. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, the canopy is already full with all the camping equipment ready to go. The only thing you're gonna be adding to this vehicle now is the, the uh, food, and clothing that's it so um i don't think there's anything else that i can think of that you'd be adding to this vehicle so we're well below four and a half um again we are still close to it but it is now manageable to take this truck with a caravan fully loaded and be 100 percent legal on a car license which is exactly what i was going for so again if you were to add more things to this vehicle if you were to add a bull bar a roof rack more lighting and all the rest of it you're gonna be you're gonna have to get a gvm upgrade at the end of the day but this is the perfect configuration for that happy medium where you don't necessarily need a bull bar these things come out with a steel bumper already on the front um, if you don't need a bull bar you don't need a winch you don't need all the extra lighting and roof rack and all the rest of it you just want a tray canopy and you want to have that that balance and still be on a car license this is a great setup um, for that sort of situation either a tourer with um, swags on the roof or to have a caravan 
is uh, the perfect perfect setup for that um, to still stay on that car license. And I'm pretty stoked with that, but let me know in the comments what you guys think um, for this configuration to be a tow tourer. I think it's pretty much perfect. So when I quickly run over fuel numbers as well on this truck, so how much diesel this thing's burning in the current configuration. So it's it's around that, yeah, it's 4125 with just me driving it. So it's burning around 16 litres per 100. So it's pretty fuel efficient um, with this with this setup and at that sort of weight. So again, we're running, running 35s on the truck. Um, we've got the tray, the canopy, all the works. You've seen it all already. Um, so yeah, we're, we're burning around the 16 litres per 100, varies 16.5, something like that. So that's what this Ram 2500 is using in this configuration with the tray and canopy and rims, tyres, suspension, um, and the mods that we've done to this truck. So like, like I mentioned, all the camping gear is in here ready to go. So all the drawers are full with everything they need to go camping. I haven't taken everything out to get some sort of magical number on this truck. So we have all the power system and everything. We have the shower, we have the aqua cube. We have everything in the drawers ready to go. We have tools in the toolboxes, um, snatch straps, all that sort of stuff in the truck. So we'll come back around to the other side again. Two spares. Got the solar panel on the roof. Got the awning up there. Um, this side, so we do have the full 130 litre from Bushman's. We do have the pantry. Again, just got to add the food. So the food in the pantry and also in the fridge and uh, yeah, where you go, so I'm pretty damn stoked with the weights that this truck has come at. I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised too actually. I thought it would have been a little bit heavier than that. I thought we would have been banging on the door four and a half tonne, but we still do have a good uh, 300 kilos um, or so of extra weight on this truck. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you think I've done a good job of getting this thing to be at that sort of weight, especially when the tear weight comes in at that 3577. So this this is a pretty light setup. I'm pretty stoked with it, uh, to say the least. So did you think it would be heavier? Did you think it would have been lighter? Uh, yeah, let me know. So anyway, I am going to weigh the F-Truck. I have done that already, and... Oh, it's tight. It's very tight. Um, again, the F-Truck setup is very similar to this, but I have a bull bar, I have a winch, and I I can get a GVM upgrade on the, the suspension system that's under it, but I don't want to. That's the thing. I don't want to have a GVM upgrade if I don't have to. I just want to keep the truck on a car license and not have to register it as a light truck. And in the description, I'll put a link to these guys' website. I don't know where you can get one at the moment. Um, you may be able to go through them and go through the distributors that they list for Australia, but I know you can get the 1,000 kilo one pretty easy, but the 1,500 is a bit harder to get, but definitely a good thing to have in your truck just to check your weights and not have to rely on a, um, a weigh bridge and things like that. So yeah, I will put the, the link in the description for this thing. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna pack up here now. Gotta go and chase some cows around for the rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. See you.